Let's see our first patient in accident and emergency. This is not for the faint-hearted. Rushed into hospital in Liverpool today is Joe, and he's got a worrying eye injury. It certainly looks sore, but how did it happen? Joe and his best mate were out in the garden getting ready for some tin can target practice. Ooh, that looks a bit dangerous. Joe's mate had the pellet gun and thought he had the safety cat switched on, but he didn't. That is not good. Nope, and a plastic pellet hit Joe's eye. Bad news. Joe's learned the hard way that pellet guns are dangerous. What are you going to do when you get home then, Joe? Throw them in the bin. Sounds like a good idea to me. Not worth it, is it? Nope. But what about his friend? We've left his poor best friend who shot him in his eye at home. He was just mortified. It's just a BB gun from the pound shop, just a toy. that We allowed them in the garden, just shooting cans off the fence, and you think that it's OK, but it's not. He's just a bit scared because you can't see through his eye at the minute, aren't you? <laughs> Here's Dr Henri Sueki, an eye specialist, to find out what's going on. Um, so what we'll need to do is to, to check your vision. Um, and then I have to examine you under the microscope just to see the extent of the injury. First is a basic eyesight test. Can you see the chart there? Cover your bad eye. Can you read from the top? Can you read the letters? S Z N R N C V K C R. Joe switches eyes and Dr. Henri tries a different test. Okay, okay so just look look at my look at my hand. How many fingers? Two. Yeah. Now? Can't see. Can't see. Things don't look good, so Dr. Henri uses a microscope to get a closer look at the damage to the surface of Joe's eye. I'm glad to say it, it looks like if you've been very lucky, Joseph. Um, the ball bearings actually it's just sort of hasn't gone all the way into the eye, it's just scratched the surface of the eye. But saying that, your vision will be very hazy because there's, there's quite a bit of blood inside the eye. Your eye is about two-thirds the size of a ping-pong ball. At the front is the cornea, and here the doctor can see where the pellet has scratched the surface. At the back of the eye sits the retina. This is a light-sensitive tissue which enables you to see. Because of the blood at the front of the eye, it's very hard to see the back. The blood in the eye is a concern, and it means that Dr. Henri can't see the inside of the eye clearly, so he can't tell at this stage whether Joe has permanent eye damage. The doctors decide to send Joe home, but he has to come back again so his eye can be monitored for possible damage. Before he goes, he gets patched up. We can get a pirate one for you, if you want. No. Less of the pirate jokes, Dr. Henri. We'll be back later to see how Joe's eye is doing. So today's mind-bending trick is all about concentration, isn't it, Zand? Zand? What are you doing? I'm concentrating. <laughs> well, that's not how the trick works. Hey, you're not fooling me. These children at this school think they're here to play a simple game. But we've got a trick up our sleeve. So what we're going to show you is a video of a ball game. And all you have to do is count the number of passes that the team in white make. Really good. Let's roll the video. Time to get counting. So, how many passes do you think the team in white made? OK. Joshua. 21. 21. Charles? 21. 21. 22. The correct answer is 21. But did you spot anything weird? Did you see anything at all other than the passing? Just saw the passing. Just saw the passing. What we didn't tell you was before the match, Zahn dressed up as a gorilla and made an amazing ape appearance during the game. Let's see if anyone spots it this time. Nope, no one seems to have noticed. In fact, it took three attempts, and then finally... Um, I saw a gorilla. A gorilla? Who thinks Cecilia's crazy? There was no gorilla, was there? So just watch it again. Don't worry about the passes now. Just see if you can see a gorilla. 
There is, wait a minute, there is the gorilla at the back dancing. Oh, the, oh that gorilla. <laughs> oh, that guy's really <laughs> And we fooled the other groups too. Oh, there is that gorilla. <laughs> yes. Yeah, oh, that gorilla. So why didn't they spot it? Oh, it's because you're looking at them passing the ball, but you don't notice that the gorilla's walking past. Cecilia is right. You're so busy concentrating on the passes that you don't notice the gorilla in the room. This is called inattentional blindness, the failure to notice something important because your attention is engaged elsewhere. So, always keep your eye out for the unexpected. Well done. I mean, you really got stuck into your part as a gorilla. Well, you know, Chris, whenever I'm asked to take on a part, I try and really get into it. At one point, I was going to interview a gorilla Tom. and ask them about their motivation. Tom. I just meant... You've left your gorilla feet on. <laughs> <laughs>